Hey guys, the video you're about to watch are a few interviews that I did on my new book I just released called Total Recreation. Guys, right now, you can pre-order this book. There's gonna be a link below. You guys can go down there, order it. It's called Total Recreation. It's how I went from zero to a nine-figure business in the last three to four years. How I changed my whole freaking life, man. So I love you guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Also, go order your book now. I just wanted to, I just wanted to, number one, say thank you for being here. Uh, we really appreciate your time. I know your time's valuable. I wouldn't be sitting here today had it not been for you and what you're putting out content-wise. Uh, the other thing on your side is uh, my fitness journey started because of you. I love that. Uh, I was really kind of complacent and, and watching your videos and realizing that, that, hey, you know, I'm an athlete. There's an athlete under all of this. I just need to, I need to focus in and get after it and get ready so so i started because of you so i appreciate that good job I'm man. very excited about that my first question comes um you know you deal with a lot of stuff you know there's a lot of controversy there are a lot of things that come up there's a lot of different um different dynamics that come you know because of your personality and how you approach uh those kind of things and you take that you take the controversy and, and if you didn't know that you even dealt with that, you would just think this guy just loves people and cares about people. So how do you set all of that aside and still go out and love people like you love people and care enough about people to spend time with them? Yeah, so, well, number one, I appreciate you guys. Um, my goal today, anybody that hears this, like literally, like they'll transform their life and they'll change. Number one, good job on your fitness journey. And I'm gonna tell you this, man, like listen, all, all growth and all change starts with the truth, okay? It all starts with being honest, okay? You looked in the mirror and you said, you know what? The God of this generation is comfort. And, you know, that's not the game I want to play. I'm a competitor, right? Like, why the hell am I comfortable? By the way, if I choose comfort, I'm actually going to be uncomfortable. And if I choose to be uncomfortable, I actually end up comfortable. So, like, you got to understand the play, okay? If, if you're not getting what you want in life, you got it's time to run a new play, okay? And I bet now that you're taking better care of yourself, now you're starting to understand there's new levels. Now you're starting to understand you're unlocking new potential. Now you're starting to understand that, dude, like, literally 1 to 10, you know, most people, they'll say, oh, I'm an 8 or I'm a 9. But really, 1 to 10, your 2 may be better than someone else's 10. But 1 to 10, if you're an 8 or a 9, you're pretty much maxed out. You don't have any room to grow. And I don't like that. So 1 to 10, I'm a 1. And when I get to my 10, I'm going to take over the whole damn world. And so my goal is, is that, is that like, for real, gentlemen, we need to be around people that show us how to get to the 2, the 3, the 4, the 5, the 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So uh, we want to welcome on today, as uh, partners in the process, is Shelly and Bobby. We want to welcome on Andy Elliott, the Andy Elliott. For those of you who do not know who he is, he is probably, the, if not the, he is probably top tier, the top best sales training um, and leadership training experts in the world. Um, definitely in the United States. They are based out of Arizona. He is personally our mentor, and uh, he's been so kind to come on with us today and talk to you guys um, about some, some different mindset things and personal and professional development. And just basically, I want to get into Elliot's mind for a second here and ask you some questions and see if you can elaborate a little bit on, on exactly what it is that you bring to the world that makes you a little bit special. Um, makes you the bloodline breaker, you know what I mean? The one. Yeah. And your family and other families that uh, set yeah. the tone. Man. Yeah, help, you know help, I mean? help people break generational curses. So yeah. we know that it's important to surround yourself then with the right people, but how do you attract or find them sometimes? That seems to be difficult. Well, so there's two things. Number one, once you become more elite, more elite, more elite, keep your word, get in physical good shape, taking good care of your family, working hard at work, you know, raising your standards, creating human excellence, doing the right thing, you know, giving more, right? You know, self-developing every day. I mean, you start to become more attractive, then you start to attract different circles. More people look at you and they're like, hey man, we'd like to invite you to this thing. And those are a higher quality or a higher caliber of a individual or a company. In the beginning, People say, well, where, where do I start? Well, there's a saying, it says, cut the check for speed. It may be $100 a month, you get in on a coaching uh, membership somewhere. Y you may spend $100,000 to, to go train with somebody and coach with somebody. But what I'll tell you is, number one, never take advice from people you don't wanna be. Never take advice from people you don't wanna become. I have, I've had a lot of people when I started my company, um, they told me, you know, you're not gonna make it. I, I didn't wanna be like these people. These people have never created anything that I wanted to ever. So I did, not, I did not care 
anything about what these people said. Your goal is to find people. I would say if you go to the internet, you know, et cetera, you can find people that are real people that have actually done things that you want to do. They've been where you want to go and maybe they're on their way back now or, or maybe they're willing to share it with you. And I would say what would take you maybe three years or even 13 years to do, you might be able to learn in three months. And that's the key. It's that we're in an era right now where self-development is there. And so it's like, it's, it's a trillion, it's a, it's a billion dollar a day industry right now. Yeah, okay. dude, it's freaking crazy, man. So, but my point is, is number one, everybody's self-developing. So like get with it or get your ass kicked. And, and then number two, take what they teach you and, and become it. And, and, and totally changed. And that's what I did. I mean, I just started getting on the internet. I found out, you know, who I wanted to be like. I took the best, I left the rest. I didn't, I didn't take everything, but I took the stuff that I needed. And I literally took the top 50 business people and influencers that I could find. And I literally created one identity of all these people. And dude, we just attacked. And I started just destroying everything in my way because I was a new person, man. And I think anybody, like if you don't like who you are, dude, just make a decision to change. Humans are crazy resilient. Crazy right. resilient, man. Right. If you're watching this video right now, I train CEOs, I train business owners, I help companies scale the greatest sales teams on planet Earth. I have digital training. I do Zoom calls. I do face-to-face -face brotherhood, direct interactions with people that are, that are business owners of a billion-dollar company or they're salespeople that are just starting up. If you feel like you want to be coached by me, and I'm just being super clear, and you're like, dude, I want to be coached by you. I want an edge. You're 44 years old, Andy. You're on fire. You get it all in life, but you get underdogs. You get like everybody's qualified to have a great life. I'm running a play. This play isn't working. I want to run a new play. I'm a psycho competitor. I'm obsessed just like you, but I'm not getting those results. But I want to get them. Go down to the description box below on this YouTube video right now. Go down to the description box. You're going to click on a link. It's going to ask you eight questions. And when you answer these eight questions, okay, based on the way that you answer them, if you get qualified to coach with me, I will reach out to you in the next 24 hours. It's that simple, okay? If it's something that I can help you with, I'm all in and we will crush it. Welcome to another episode of Stroke of Success Podcast. It's your favorite host, KB. This man who's, in, who's inspired me in so many ways. Let's welcome Andy Elliott. What's up, brother? Well, number one, e every single one of us is capable of greatness. And when we get it, you know, they always say where you're at, when you make money, it just magnifies, you know, who you were, right? I always thought, man, if I could just ever get a break, and I don't mean like, you know, like, but if I could get my shot, if God will give me an opportunity to just play all my cards, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to let anyone down, man. Two uh, topics popped up in my head. Law of attraction. Do you believe it? Yeah, facts. Whatever, whatever. If you if you can uh, see it in your mind, you can get it. Then there's this other school of thought that comes in. I'm Muslim. I have a lot of Christian friends, Muslim friends, Jewish friends, all over the world have friends. And they say every religion kind of comes in and say, wait a minute, no, you're not putting God. How do you say you create your reality? God is the creator. And I've asked this question to multiple influencers. They have an answer. What's your response to that? Is it you creating your reality or is it another power, third higher power, or is it you together? What's your perspective? No, I think God made me um, to be an example for other people. And I think that the bigger the testimony, right, the bigger the change, and I think he put me through some pretty big tests. And that's why I got a pretty big testimony. I think that's the reason why we're blowing up and we're changing people's lives. And I think that it, it was all his work. And so I'm grateful for it all. I'm grateful for everything that has happened. Every time that the time I almost went to jail, the time that, you know, Jackie said, hey, I've learned to live without you. You need to get your shit together. You're letting me down. The time that I betrayed people, the time I got betrayed, the time that I played the victim, you know, the time I didn't work out, the time I did, the time I burned people, the time I got burned by people. Like all those things needed to happen for me to ultimately go through total recreation. So like in the Bible, and obviously you talked about different religions, but there's this guy named the Apostle Paul, right? Like that took the Bible the furthest and he was once Saul. He was a Christian killer. Like people go from like being these really bad people to really good people. They go from being really poor to really rich. They go from being really bad, you know, hatred people to being the most loving people on planet at earth and I anyways so I definitely believe I mean I believe personally uh, in Christ in, and there's lots of different religions but I will tell you this 100% no doubt that I believe that God um, has had me go through what I went through so that I could help other people that have gone through crap which is 95% of the world and they can turn their lives around 
Beautiful. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Badass Dad Project. I got a super special guest with me today, Mr. Andy Elliott of the Elliott Group. Uh, I have to say, Andy is one of my all-time favorite people to follow on social media right now. Super inspiring, everything he does and says. Um, I just love how real and raw he is and just says it how it is, doesn't care about feelings, just says it the truth, and uh, he wants to help you, right? So yeah. uh, I also have to give you a huge thank you, Andy, as well, because uh, earlier this year, I joined one of your mentorship groups, uh, The Revolution, with Brad Lee. Uh, and mainly I joined because, one, I got a little bit out of shape, and but mainly me and my wife were on the verge of a divorce. Uh, we were just, I was making lots of money, but um, you know we were on the rocks, right? And that's one of the main reasons I joined. And I just saw you, uh, how you treat Jacqueline, how you show up as a husband, as a dad, really helped inspire me being in that group. And I have to say, I stepped up, I became a better man, I became a better husband, a better father, and me and my wife now have never been happier. So we're, we're doing awesome, and big thanks to you for that, so I really appreciate you. But. Uh, Dude, yeah, that's amazing, yeah. man. Number one, good job, dude. I love that. This is how life works. You, you don't plan for these things to happen, disconnect to happen. The devil gets in your head. He gets in your marriage. I mean, listen, these, these things just happen. And when they happen, they happen quick. They happen fast. No one sees them. And a lot of people don't raise their hand. They don't ask for help. They're just like, you know, I'm going to figure this out. And then they end up saying some things they can't take back. And next thing you know, man, you're, you're like, what happened to my life? And then there's a lot of regret. And I'm gonna tell you, man, the fact that you were able to raise your hand early and, and see how happy you are now, that's just a true testament to what you do, what I do. God says iron sharpens iron. Why we're here for each other. And because we understand, we know. Listen, there was a day that Jackie said she learned to live without me a long time ago. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I had to look in the mirror and I immediately said, like, dude, I need, I need help. I mean, because like I was doing it my way and it wasn't working. And I remember somebody gave me just one simple piece of advice. They said, if you treat something like it's the beginning, there'll never be an end. Andy, your wife wants you to go to work and kick ass. Don't think she doesn't, okay? She wants you to go be a winner. She don't want her husband to be a loser. But she also wants when you're home, she wants you to be home, she wants you to be present, and she wants to be number one. So like, if you just go back to treating her how you did when you first met and how you were excited to take her on the next date and get closer and all the way up to the wedding date, and, and, then, and then you stop doing that somewhere along the way, and you, but you just go back to that, easy change. Everything will change. And dude, sure enough, it was a one-day decision. It literally took us about 36 hours of a new me showing up with a new perspective, new attitude, new mindset, new belief, new love. I was refreshed. It was keeping it new again. Took her on a date. And dude, everything changed. And it went from this cloud of doom to us like, like I don't understand how we're going to get through this, to like we've never been more in love. And from that day to today, we've just grown this crazy, amazing marriage. So good job, man. Proud of you, dude. Yeah, thanks, Love man. It. And that's been it for me, too. Just like the momentum of me. I had a choice. I was either, you know, you either do the divorce and just do the paperwork, do yeah. that, or give it your, like, give it your all, get your shit together, and give it one last go. Yeah, but, and, and couldn't you imagine, though, I mean, but could you imagine, though, if, if, if you wouldn't have made the decision to, to just get around some better people, get around a better marriage, believe there's something, I mean, just imagine what kind of a shit you'd be going through right now and tearing your kids apart and your life apart. You, and you, didn't, you don't want any of that. But dude, listen, so like, I just want to tell you, like, good job. Welcome, everybody. Well, we got a pretty special guest here today, Andy. Thank you so much for making time to hop on the show and uh, love to ask you a couple questions and get to know a little bit more about you. How's that sound? Yeah, sounds great, man. Number one, hey, I appreciate you. And by the way, like anybody listening to this, you know, say training doesn't have to be long, you know, self-development doesn't have to be long, but there'll be something that'll be said on this little short, tiny podcast that literally could transform somebody's life. And it literally could be a million dollar idea, a $10 million idea, it could be a hundred million dollar idea. Anytime I find someone that I want to train with, like I'm always like, I'm going to be your best student. Okay, like period. Like if I'm gonna train with you, you're gonna be, I'm gonna be your best student, period, hands down. Dude, I do speak the truth. I do speak really direct and I, that's the only way to build a big business. Anybody that's ever built a big business was direct. Everything in life that ch that will change for the good starts with truth and starts with honesty. And a lot of the people that I say things and they're like, oh man, I don't like what that guy said. It's because not everything that's the truth is, is good for you to hear, but winners want to hear it and they look in the mirror they own it and they fix it they get better and that's how they become winners you actually led me right into my first question because i was going to ask you what's the best way for someone watching this for myself or anyone to handle criticism 
and then turn it into a positive force for growth. Well, think about this. What if I told you the truth about something you needed to change? Instead of owning it and getting better, you gave away the power to change it and blamed it on somebody else. Well, number one, you'd never change. If, so, if anybody's taking notes, I, I want you to write down two lives. Everybody lives two lives, one of the two. Okay, there's a the life you live now, which that's, that's the life you currently have. And then there's the unlived life. And notice I said that you're not living that life yet. That's the unlived life. That's the one you're supposed to be living. That's who you're supposed to become. That's maxing out your potential. Okay, so let's play this out. Let's say that you don't change anything. Let's say I tell you the truth today and there's some things that you could change and you don't. Let's play this out. Keep running the play that you're running right now. You know what your life looks like, it's pretty simple. Let's say that I say something today and you can and you can look in the mirror and you can own it and take criticism and say, hey, you know what, winners look in the mirror, they own their shit and they say, you know what, I can get better here. Then you run a new play and then all of a sudden you get to live that unlived life. And so I'm living proof, man. Look, a couple years ago I decided to change my life. I built a nine-figure business, um, got in really good shape, changed a lot of my stuff in my life. Um, you know, we get 100 million views every 30 days on social media. Look, dude, I'm living a dream life because I decided to look in the mirror, get pissed off, and make some decisions. Okay, so if anybody, yeah, if I'm living proof, anybody can do it. And by the way, most people are more qualified than I was.